Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is another server how-to. This is Soap the Great. Uh, this is a series that is aimed primarily at my fellow server members on the Adventure Time Coworker Survival Multiplayer server. Um, again, this is a private whitelisted server. It is for people at my place of employment that also play Minecraft and we uh, just build this world together. Have a lot of fun doing it. Sometimes uh, do little team building exercises at lunch and stuff and uh, anyway this series is a set of tutorials for various um, things that have been built on the server and it is for new people to really see what's going on um, and sometimes I build stuff and um, people aren't sure what's going on or what's available on the server so here we go this is uh, that's what the series is for. So the next one that I'm going to feature was actually something not done by me. It was done by uh, Azten. He built a blaze farm. And we're going to go take a look at that. Oh my goodness, listen to that. What? Oh, player. That's right. Yeah, because it makes perfect sense for the minecart to be on the player volume. Here we go make the turn and we're gonna drop down into a nether fortress and that is a warning to you this is a nether fortress um, whoa there's been some problems here nether fortresses are dangerous places okay that is just a fact and so um, you can have wither skeleton skulls or not skulls, you can have wither skeleton spawn, blaze naturally in the farm or in the uh, fortress. Let's see what else. Blaze, magma cubes, zombie pigmen, ghasts do not spawn in fortresses. They'll spawn around fortresses but not in them. But because pigmen are in here or can be in here, I like to just close this thing off if I need to do some um, enchanting okay so what we're gonna do grab that I just close it all off in case I happen to hit one by accident there we go we're closed call me paranoid but um, it has been the case before that um, we've had some mishaps where a pigman was in here and if there happen to be any other spawned around, they will come find you. Alright, so the way to use this thing is you just sit here and you wait. Okay. You're going to... I tend to use the F3 screen. And I'm going to be watching the E number. It's in the top left corner where it has E colon. And right now it's 12 over 46. 14. Okay, you see that bottom number going up? 14 up to... Uh, 15 now okay that is roughly the number of blaze that are in this area right here okay um, to get from 0 to level 30 at least as in 1.7.2 um, what you're going to need is 83 in there okay and just to increase our frames per second a little bit we're going to turn off particles That does not help any. Next to recording. Okay. That's all well and good. We're going to... Let's just assume we've got 83 there now. Okay. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab a potion of harming. Because those are kind of useful. And I've also got my wither hunter. Notice it is a looting three. I really need to put it away because I only use it for this among other things okay um, but uh, just this little trick here okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna close off the collection area and then we're gonna hit this button okay I've got mob sounds turned off or turned really low so you can't hear these guys taking damage but you can see it okay notice they're no longer blinking red I'm gonna get back a little bit I'm gonna throw this potion of harming and then switch to my looting three sword. If you don't have a looting three sword, just throw the potion of harming. What that does is make sure we get a bunch of blaze rods out of it. 
return that as quickly to the open position as possible otherwise you're going to get blaze stuck on the um, the block there above it and it it won't be able to reopen so you'll have to leave the area come back unload these chunks and these things will despawn and uh, yeah that's that so so there we go and you can collect your blaze rods there they're useful for smelting and um, some potions and then what you want to do do we have any books no books here up there nothing okay I didn't bring any books with me but here's the enchanting table here you just use that and uh, that is the blaze farm okay now I, I, I just pull this dirt back out collect it all and then as I've said in times before leave it as you found it or better so I put that dirt back um, do let me know if you ever see that we're running low on potions of harming either go build some at the or brew some up at the auto potion brewer or um, just let me know and I will deliver some down here um, but they are very useful they get rid of the blaze really quickly but uh, we're all done here so we're gonna go back up um, sometimes pigmen will spawn in and knock you back so what you want to do is just keep holding forward on the minecart and you'll be sure to get back up and now we're heading back to the nether portal and that is how to use the blaze farm if you enjoyed that video please give it a like if you um, enjoyed the build let Aston know he uh, really appreciate it um, it's always good to know when somebody's using your builds and uh, if you want to see more feel free to subscribe but again this is a highly specific series check out my other stuff if you're not a member of this server check out the other series I've got a multiplayer series that I do on on this server just other builds but uh, the tutorial specifically is for the fellow server members so anyway that's it I will see you next time bye bye